आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विथ ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ of a nation India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed AIR news brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day Bande Mataram Bharatiya pataka nirupa kalpana jesi taratarala taraganant pratibhanta nandinchi On 31st of May 1921 Gandhian nationalist Bengali Venkaiah presented the initial design of the national flag to Mahatma Gandhi during the Vijayawada session of the All India Congress Committee. The original design consisted of two colors, red and green. To the center of the horizontally divided flag, Lala Hansraj Sundhi suggested the addition of the traditional spinning wheel, which was associated with Gandhi ji's crusade to make Indians self-reliant by fabricating their own clothing from local fibers. Gandhi ji modified the flag by adding a white stripe in the center, thus also providing a clearly visible background for the spinning wheel. <laughs> The flag came to be associated with Nationhood for India and it was officially recognized at the annual meeting of the Congress party in August 1931 at the same time the current arrangement of stripes and the use of deep saffron instead of red were approved during the second world war subhash chandra bose used the flag without the spinning wheel in the territories freed by the indian national army post independence a national flag committee under president rajendra prasad replaced the charkha with the ashok chakra We also remember freedom fighter and former chief minister of Madhya Pradesh Dwarka Prasad Mishra who died on the 31st of May 1988 Dwarka Prasad Mishra actively contributed to the nationalist movements and was associated with the non cooperation movement and the quit india movement Dwarka Prasad Mishra was born on 5th of August 1901 in Unnao district of Uttar Pradesh in the year 1920 Dwarka Prasad Mishra jumped into the freedom struggle on the call of Mahatma Gandhi he joined the non cooperation movement and remained in the front line of the nationalist movements he served prison sentences during the years 1932 1940 and 1942 He became a minister of Central Provinces in 1937 and 1946. A journalist and literateur, Dwarka Prasad Mishra edited Shri Sharda Monthly in 1921, Dainik Lokmat in 1931, and the Weekly Sarathi in 1947. Motilal Nehru praised Dwarka Prasad on the editorial written in Lokmat on the death of Lala Lajpat Rai. He had acknowledged that even the best criminal lawyer of India cannot prepare a better charge sheet on the gruesome incident. After independence, Mishra was elected to be the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh twice. He remained committed to the welfare of the people till the end. We salute the great Indian. We also remember social reformer Sant Ram B A who died on the 31st of May 1988. Sant Ram devoted his life to the cause of building a casteless and classless society through his writings and magazines like Chand Sudha, Saraswati, Kranti, and Bharatiya. He was a close friend of Rahul Sankrityayan. Sant Ram was born at Purani Basi near Hoshiarpur, Punjab, on 14th of February 1887. 
He joined Arya Samaj at a young age and founded the Jat Pat Todak Mandal in 1922. The mandal drew attention of the entire nation and received overwhelming support as well as opposition from the conservatives. The mandal invited Baba Saheb Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar to deliver the presidential address at its annual convention at Lahore in 1936. However, when the address was postponed after vehement opposition from the conservatives, Baba Saheb published the speech as a book and thus came into being one of his most famous books, The Annihilation of Caste. Sant Ram wrote more than 100 small booklets advocating Hindu-Muslim unity and an end to caste discrimination. He continued to work for the emancipation of the depressed classes for his entire life. We salute the great Indian. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Thank you.